Hey folks, welcome to Outdoors with Joe. Today I thought I would share with you guys uh, how I cast my own bullets for my uh, air rifles. Today I'm going to be casting some 35 cal, specifically for my uh, AEA 35 cal uh, Challenger. I'm going to be, this is the mold. This is just a, just a standard Lee mold. This is a 356, 102 grain. And as you can see, it's just a basic setup. Just my Coleman stove and a propane bottle and my little uh, dipper that I made. I, uh, I had bought a dipper off of uh, off eBay and it was just, uh, it didn't hold much lead and, uh, and it was hard to pour out of. So I just got me a tablespoon and made me a wooden handle and it worked really good. But anyway, uh, I'm going to just go over this a little bit. This is going to be a short video, so no, nothing elaborate. Now, I have had my uh, my pot going for, or my burner going for about, I don't know, roughly 10 minutes maybe. And I'm not sure if I got enough lead in there or not. I might put one more piece in just to make sure. The main thing with this is having having nice clean lead. So you got to be careful putting your lead in here. Now I don't have my uh, leather gloves on yet. I know a lot of guys are going to say, Joe, you need to put some leather gloves on, man. But I'll tell you what, I've done this so many times. that, uh, and, and I'm no professional by, by any means. But I do recommend if you do this put some leather gloves on and put your safety glasses on so we're going to get this melted down get our ingot melted down real good and then we'll uh we'll put our uh, mold in the lead to let it warm up but first i'm gonna melt this lead down so let's get that melted down i'm gonna spare you guys the boredom of watching lead melt so we'll be right back folks stay tuned Hi right, folks, welcome back. We uh, got our lid melted up real good. As you can see, there's a lot of slag in here. You gotta get the slag out. The slag is just just a just a fancy word for just to get the dirt out of it. So all this is slag, as you can see right here. Hopefully, you can see that. What I, what I usually do is I got a bucket. I got just a little uh, two-gallon bucket that I just dump the slag in. It does have a little bit of water in the bottom of it. What I do is just get the slag off. That slag. Just drop it in my bucket. Like so. See how clean that is? Nice and shiny. But yeah, slag is just getting the dirt out. You just stir it up a little bit more. Get it worked around real good. You can see the slag is in the bottom and all inside of it. But stir it, pull it around. And that does help to let your to let your ladle or your if you make one of these or whatever, let it let it set in here like that and let it warm up so it don't stick to it. Get nice and warm. See, there's more slag that came out by me stirring it up. I'll get this slag out, put it in my bucket, stir it up a little bit more. You know, you guys that have the high caliber, the high caliber air rifles, this, this is the way to go. You know, you can pick a mold up on eBay or, or Amazon for under 50 bucks, 45 calibers, 50 calibers, get them for you 35 caliber. cleaned up real nice just keep a stirring it now you're, you're never going to get it all out there's always going to be a little bit of dirt in it but you just get it as clean as you can I guess your patience is uh how long you want to keep on and on and on but the more you stir it you get more of that slag out or or the dirt out of it you can see it keeps working its way to the top. I mean, this is not rocket science, folks. 
Everybody makes this seem. Everybody makes things seem harder than they really, they really truly are. This is pretty simple, and it's a pretty simple setup. Now there are better ways to do this. You can get you a nice um, melting pot with the with the uh, drop dropper on the bottom to uh, pour or pour, as you, I guess you call it, to pour your lid out. But me personally, I don't I don't cast enough to where that it's really worth my while. Let me make sure my mic is on. Yeah, it's on. But yeah, I don't I don't do enough to make it worth to worth my while to go spend two hundred dollars on a on a melting pot, which would be nice to have a melting pot. But you know, I do it like this. Most of us, you know, most of us outdoors outdoor type of people, you know, we already have this stuff sitting around. And this is just a little cast iron skillet. This is probably like a little six inch, seven inch skillet. See, the more you stir that, the more slag you're gonna get out. Like I said, you're never gonna get it all out. Well, I guess you could get the majority of it out if you had the patience to keep them messing with it. But I don't want this video to be long. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set my spoon back in here and, and you're gonna need some water to, to drop your uh, bullets in to cool them off. Now what I do is I take my mold and I'll just set it in my lid, just like so. And I'm gonna let it sit right here and I'm gonna let it warm up or I'm gonna let it get nice and hot so my bullets drop out. And uh, when, you, if, when you buy a new mold, you know, you're gonna have to wipe it down good, make sure it's nice and clean. I usually take just rubbing alcohol when I get them new and I'll, I'll wipe everything down really, really good. And then I'll take a match and I'll, I'll burn the inside and it, where it turns a little black from the soot and that'll help your uh, lead drop out anyway let's let this uh, warm up real good and then we'll be back and we'll cast some bullets all right folks I think everything's got hot enough the best way to tell if, if your mold is hot enough is when you first put it in here and you'll let it set for a little bit and you'll pick it up and it'll be a bunch of lead still sticking to the bottom of this uh, to your mold, but if you leave it in here long enough, the lead will come off. That's still a little bit on there, but it should be should be warm enough. So now we're just casting bullets. Once again, folks, uh, safety is number one priority. You know, if, if you haven't done this uh, very much, get you some nice leather gloves because you, you do not want to get this on you. I'm gonna tell you what, that'll make you jump up and down and cuss like a sailor because that stuff is hot. And keep your water away from it. You know, keep it a few feet away, and because uh, you don't want to get water, and you don't want to sweat in it. And good ventilation, uh, be in a, a well-ventilated area. Open the door, turn on a fan, or whatever. Now I have got my doors open down here, and it's—I feel it's a little breeze blowing through, so I know it's taking it out. But you don't want to breathe. Uh, you don't want to breathe that lid. That that stuff is not good for you. I did turn my burner down a little bit, but anyway, and you're going to need to get you a mallet, and it's a wooden mallet or a rubber mallet. I just use the back end of my hammer. It's, it's rubber, so that's just what I use, and it works good. Be careful, folks. These things get hot, man. Anyway, let's, uh, let's cast a few bullets. So we got it set up. And my lady will see now. Here's some. It's still got a... It's set a little bit and it's still got some more slag in it. So let's get this little bit of, a little more slag out of it. And then we'll be ready. All right, pretty simple. Just pour your lid in it. And give it a, a second to cool. Now be careful when you take this off, when this when this piece of lead here drops back down in it, just be careful it don't splash back up on you. So we're just going to take that off, drop it in, tap our mold, drop our bullets out, and it's just a repeat process. It's just not rocket scientists. A lot of people make things just seem harder than they really are. Yeah, if you got a... A large caliber. Now you can get molds for 22 calibers and 25 calibers, but they're kind of expensive. So I don't know if you really, I mean, unless you do a lot of shooting and uh, 
it might be worth your while to spend because some of those molds are 200 bucks and I'm just not I just I just prefer just to buy it but these molds here this is just a three five seven nine millimeter mold and just tap it off drop your lid get one of these out laying in the water cool and here well, you can see that 30 pound cow. Nice looking, uh, nice looking bullet. Let's do a few more. I'm not going to bore you guys to keep watching me do this, but make sure it's nice and full. Let it cool. I'm not, try not trying to bore you guys. Don't don't pick that up neither. Let that sit there. I'm not trying to bore you, and I'm not trying to make everybody sound like this is. Little kind I'm teaching kindergartners how to do this. I'm just I'm just showing you guys how I do this. Now I know there's other channels that that go into a little bit more uh, detail, but anyway, this is just how I do it. Cause I don't I don't lo do a whole lot, especially for my larger calibers, because I don't just go out here every day and just target practice with my larger calibers. But the hammer works good. Don't let that leg get on you. Tap them in. And just repeat the process. Anyway, folks, I hope you guys enjoyed my little video today. I hope I didn't drag it out too long. But it, this is just how I do it. You can do it at home. It's not rocket scientist. So those of you guys that have the larger calibers, get your mold. Dig out your Coleman uh, camping stove. I know you probably got one in the garage or in the basement. You have an old cast iron skillet. Get your mold. If you you don't have a ladle, you can make a ladle, so that's not a big deal. But I want to thank all y'all for watching my video today. Uh, if you're not a subscriber to my channel, please consider subscribing. And uh, give me a thumbs up. And in the meantime, folks, I'll catch you on the next go-round.